Hi, my name is Spencer, and this is the Sevson Wood Design Shop Tour. Uh, we've been in business for about two years now. Um, now that we're starting to get a Facebook following, I wanted to do a shop tour just to show all of our, all of our fans what we've got going and what we're capable of. And we're going to start right over here. Uh, I'm going to cut in front of the camera real quick. So this is my hand tooling bench. It's nothing pretty to look at. I just I threw it together in an afternoon because I needed something. Uh, I've got some vices on it, a couple of pocket knives, and my hand plane collection. I'm going to be building a hand plane uh, storage rack uh, here in the next week or so. Uh, you don't need to show underneath it, but I've got just a bunch of paint and finished supplies on a shelf underneath it. Uh, over here, I've got another bench. Uh, this one, I designed after uh, another YouTuber whose YouTube channel is Wranglestar, I believe. I'll post a link to it in the comments. Really liked how he did his with the uh, setup on a wall, um, and so I mimicked it. Uh, this is my lathe. It's a Nova Comment 2 MIDI lathe. Uh, I'm going to buy the bed extension so we can start doing spindle turning. Right now it's just used for uh, pens. Got some red hard chucked, uh, chucked up that we need, I'm going to be turning today. Um, and we're going to start turning bowls. I got the uh, a turning chuck so that we can start doing that. Uh, up above the lathe, we've got all of my chisels. They're just the Benjamin Best. Got them on Amazon for like $60, $50, $60, I think. I've got my face shield. Uh, I've got a pair of safety glasses. Just some cheap ones from 3M that fit really well on the shade, uh, the underneath the face shield. Um, and then I've got all of my blanks that I'm currently going to be turning and finishing hung up with the kits that they're going with on both sides. Uh, next to that, I've got uh, just a, uh, an old tool cabinet that I'm using for uh, turning supplies. Got some plastic cabinets above. Uh, the HDX box is all of my pin kits. My CA glue, which is what I use to finish the pins. Uh, we do uh, sanding to 600 grit denatured alcohol, let that dry, and then uh, four coats of thin, two to four coats of medium, and then polish from 1200 to 12,000 with uh, wet sanding pads. Next to that we've got our Harbor Freight dust collection system. It's a two horsepower system. It works well. Uh, we got it for 50 bucks used I think. And it works fine. I want to do some upgrades to it, uh, like the uh, the filtration bag. I'm thinking about doing a canister filter, but honestly, we'll probably just do another bag, just a better filtration bag. Uh, that's hooked into a trash can below with a thine baffle setup. Works pretty well. Uh, it's been going. We've been using it for probably a month, and really, that's all that's gotten to the bag. I haven't emptied this bag in, well, the entire time I've had it set up here for so for a month or two. So the, the thine baffle works really well. Next to the DC dust collection system, we have my uh, grinder, just for when I need to touch up my, my uh, lathe chisels. I can swing that out of the way if I need to use the full length of my miter saw station. The disc and belt sander there, I just have to pick up. I'm working on a system for that. This is my miter saw station. It's based off of um, the miter saw station that I like to build stuff built on his channel. Again, I'll link that below. It works pretty well. Um, the dust collection on it, it's non-existent right now, but this is a lot better of dust handling than I used to have. Um, above it and above my lathe station, we have uh, our wood stock that we have right now, some old pallet wood that we got busted out and all the nails and everything taken out of, some 50 year old uh, pine 2x4s that were on a camper trailer that my grandfather ripped uh, apart about 45, 50 years ago, and then just a whole bunch of odds and ends wood pieces. Uh, coming up, I'm going to cut in front of the camera again. We've got our whiteboard that just gives us uh, easy to look at what we need to get done. I've got some plans hanging from it. 
uh, shop improvements that I want to do, uh, tools that we need to replace. Behind it, I've got my uh, tool storage, one of many. These are the tools that I use more often than the ones that are in deeper storage, but not enough to have on an actual tool wall um, since my space in the shop is very limited. Uh, I'm not sure on the exact uh, measurements of the shop. I'll take them and post them uh, over the video, but it's, it's no bigger than a 20 by 20. I think it's a bit smaller than that. It's a very small two-car garage. Uh, behind it, we've got a whole bunch of uh, wood cut, uh, cutoffs that we need to go through again and clear out. Uh, it doesn't happen that often, but they're useful so I don't get rid of them. Uh, so over here, we've got our dog bed. That That's Bella. She's our, our rescue German Shepherd. She's our clearance rack Shepherd. She's a good girl, though. We love her. Um, but she's sitting on my assembly table slash outfeed table and then assembly table slash uh, planer table. Uh, these were, again, just really quick thrown together one day uh, when I needed something. Y you'll notice the pattern in my shop. Most of the shop furniture is just really basic, not great looking, but very functional. I don't want to put too much time or money into shop furniture when I could be putting it into uh, I've got two Bessie half inch pipe clamps on this table, um, which I was using on those two by fours as I was planing the sides down. Uh, it works well. I want to try and hook them up into a twin screw type mechanism. Haven't had time to do that yet and don't have the money to buy a really nice Veritas or something. Down the road, I'd love to do that, though. Uh, moving over here, we've got our DeWalt thickness planer. This is just the 12, 12 and a half inch model. Uh, it works great for us. We don't put a lot of hardwoods or anything through it. In fact, all of what, what's gone through this is just pine. Um, it holds up pretty well. Um, underneath there is one of our other shop dogs. That's Tonks. Tonka truck, Tonkers, pain in the butt. She's got Tonka, look up here. Yeah. She's a crybaby. She doesn't get to be in the shop as much as uh, Bella because she gets bored and yells at me because she wants to play. So she's just out here for a shop video. We also got another dog, Cerberus. He's a great Pyrenees. He's a big boy. He doesn't get to hang out in the shop because he sniffs everything and then sneezes on everything because he's fun like that. Uh, moving on, so this wall, we've got quite a bit going on with it. We've got our, uh, once we replace it, our sound system will be going up there. We've got a clamp rack, a uh, drill station, a uh, floor standing drill press on caster so I can move it around the shop if I need to. Our porter cable, uh, and the drill press is porter cable. Uh, porter cable, scroll saw, doesn't get as much use as it could, but it's also really nice to have. Um, we've got our shop vac system with a Oneida Dust Deputy Cyclone. Love this thing. Uh, if you have a, a shop vac that you're using in your shop, Setting up the uh, Oneida Dust Deputy just onto a five gallon bucket, huge game changer, time saver, and you won't have to replace the filters in your shop vac. The shop vac that we have is the Vacmaster. got it on Amazon. It was pretty, pretty inexpensive comparable, comparably to others. Uh, I do need to replace that at some point, but it, it's still puttering along, so we just have it. Uh, right here, all of this stuff is going to be getting, well, this section, the pipe clamp, uh, pipe rack, pipe clamp rack is going to stay, but we're going to put a uh, router table here once I get that built, uh, because I've got several projects in the work that I want to have a good router set up. So at that point, we're going to find a new home for this. Uh, over here in this corner, we've got our ladder storage. Not a lot to say about that. We've got our safety station, as I call it. Uh, with our safety glasses, I throw my sunglasses up there. Sunglasses are also safety glasses. There's the wall. Awesome sunglasses. 
next to the drill press, we just finished the installation of our sub panel. Uh, we've got five breakers in there right now. Uh, 15 amp that's hooked up to our lights and our sound system when we have it and then all the other ones are 20 amps uh, Down the road we will be putting in a 220 volt uh, once we replace our table saw uh, but That will probably be next year next to the Sub panel I've got my cabinet. I Got this for free off Facebook. It's an awesome cabinet It's in kind of rough shape, but it works for what we need uh, as you can see, it's just kind of everything. These three shelves are mostly my woodworking stuff. Uh, a bunch of our corded power tools. We've got a the Walt uh, 20 volt circular saw in the back there. Top shelf is automotive. Bottom shelf is automotive as well. Uh, glues, paper towels, mostly adhesive, sanding or not, yeah, sandpaper, sharpening system, some spare pipe clamps, uh, some electrical stuff that found its way into here. Uh, all of our fasteners are in those boxes. These DeWalt organized boxes. Doesn't have to be DeWalt, but these boxes like this are awesome. Just grab them, pull them out when you need them. When you don't, throw them back in. Uh, some wall anchors. We got a magnet on this side just so it keeps it shut. Let me just close it. Uh, this tool chest I got for my wife for Christmas last year. She bought it for me. It's been super nice. Uh, I need to obviously organize it, but this is kind of going to be the last thing to get really organized because it's automotive and that's just for our home vehicle maintenance. Uh, down below, we've got some safety stuff. I've got all of my electrical testers and tools. Uh, I'm not a professional electrician, but when you work a day job eight hours a day, anything you can do at night you do. Uh, just some more electrical stuff there. Over here, we've got our quarter cable 14 inch bandsaw. It currently just has a six inch resaw capacity. Uh, I'm looking into getting riser blocks so that we can turn it into a full 12 inch. Uh, but so far we haven't been very we haven't been limited by the resaw capacity on it. This is just my uh, pin blank cutting jig. Uh, I added the Craig fence uh, after we bought it just because it didn't have a fence, didn't have a miter uh, miter gauge, nothing. So I needed something to kind of help out. Uh, you know, this is a slightly more expensive way of doing a, a fence on your bandsaw because you can just put a square on it and clamp it down. So far, I've really, really enjoyed this. Uh, down below, I've got a box uh, full of uh, pen blank cutoffs. I'm going to figure out something to do with those, and then just a couple of tools for the bandsaw. Over here, we've got a Central Machinery Old Harbor Freight Table Saw. This is another item that we just picked off of uh, Facebook. It was like $50. I rewired this. I put a new switch on, rewired some of the stuff. Um, I need to work on the the base because it's not super secure as is. That hasn't been an issue yet, but I'd rather never have it become an issue. The fence system broke about a month ago, so I built this beast of a fence uh, after that happened just because I wasn't going to buy you know replacement parts for a fifty dollar table saw when really i want to replace this within the next year or so on top of that it's just all of the uh, a push stick a wrench for changing out the blade wrench for tightening down the the fence and then sometimes the threaded rod on the fence comes loose so i just clamp that down and obviously a miter gauge uh, next to that we've got a old 10 inch radial arm saw that my grandfather gave me. Um, this doesn't get very much use in the shop and we don't have a lot of space for it so that's going to go into storage uh, once I clear out some space in our outdoor shed. Uh, and then I've got some tires off my wife's car that are also going into the going to go into the outdoor shed once I get some space cleared. But that's our shop. Um, 
if there's anything that you would like to see more in detail, any questions that you might have, if you care to uh, voice concerns, feel free, I guess. Just put them in the comments below. I'll get to those as I can. Um, and like and follow us on Facebook. So we have a goal by the end of the year to reach 500 Facebook followers. If we hit that goal, we're going to do a really cool giveaway. haven't figured out what that's going to be, but it'll be well worth your while to get over to our Facebook page and like us. It's Sevison Wood Design. I'll link that in the comments below, as well as the uh, several, uh, several channels that I told you about. But have a great day.